Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. We're out here in the Taipei 101 on level 88 to show you some really interesting new stuff from Fractal. But before that, here's a word from today's video sponsor. Take it away, Claire. Our Computex Taipei 2024 coverage is proudly brought to you by ASUS and ROG, the Republic of Gamers. Uncover the future of gaming and tech with their latest products. From handhelds to AI, from networking to graphics cards and everything in between, ASUS and ROG have got you covered. You can find links to their latest products in the video description. You might have noticed that I was sitting down in the intro. That is for a very special reason. Fractal has a new chair. What do you mean they have a new chair? Fractal is all grown up. Check this out. This is called the Fractal Refine. It's a new, they're calling it a gaming chair. This is not a gaming chair. I'm sorry. This is just straight up comfortable furniture. The Refine comes in a few different flavors. As you can see here, this is the mesh version of the chair. This is for people like me who sit down and fart a lot. They have this in a in a light color, they have it in a dark color. And if we spin around, they have an Alcantara version that's coming out. This one is gonna come out a little bit later. We're not quite sure for release just yet. This one will be around $8.99, so very, very premium chair. And lastly, they have a fabric version, which is this guy over here. But this is the interesting thing about this. It shares some of the same things as the mesh version. It's got a fabric back, it doesn't breathe, but it still has fully adjustable lumbar support. These chairs also have full 4D armrest support. It has 13 different modes for setting the backrest of the chair as well. We're not a furniture channel, but these are the type of chairs that I use at home and I can't wait to get one. And I said to the guys here at Factor, I'm like, why have you been holding on to me for so long? Get me one of these in my office right now. But as I mentioned, they've got lots of other little interesting things in the pipeline. This is something that I wasn't expecting. This is called the Fractal Scape. This is a brand new wireless headset and charging solution. Essentially what this is, is Fractal's attempt, like I said, to be grown up. It's muted, they have two different color schemes. The pads themselves are fabric and they're actually quite similar to the fabric you can find on the Refine and it has a crown for controlling the headset. So this will allow you to do a few different things. Change the volume, skip tracks, kind of like my Pixel Watch or an Apple Watch, if you will. So very, very nice. Not only that, the base station has I'm gonna guess it's Qi charging and it charges the headset wirelessly and the RF dongle, because this is completely wireless, sits in the bottom of this stand. So it charges and it gives you the wireless connectivity and the cups have their own little RGB accents on them to give you different status indications. Very grown up. I think that the lighter color is my favorite of the two. It just looks so clean. The other thing is it has a removable boom arm and like many headsets that we've covered on the channel, when you lift the boom arm up, it mutes. And if you don't want to have the boom arm on there at all, you can remove it. And the ear cup has a built-in microphone. So technically you don't need that at all. If you wanted to use this as just a normal headset, Let's say you're going for a run or you just want to have a nice wireless headset for doing things, you can because it has Bluetooth built in as well. You can also pair it to your computer and your phone at the same time. I was not expecting you guys to release a headset. Well, the truth is it's not releasing just yet, so stay tuned because you know I'm going to be putting these through their paces. They're called the Fractal Scape. Hey, is this the retail box? Because this looks pretty sick. Nice. All right. And now what you've been waiting for. Am I still wearing headphones? <laughs> Fractal has a whole bunch of new cases. And it is addressing some of the concerns you guys had with the Fractal era. Now, just remember that name for a moment. Like I said, you guys had concerns with the era. So... 
Fractal does what Fractal does and listens. We've got the error too. Now, what they've done here is basically burnt the original error to the ground, started fresh. They've got this new design. The original design with the error was to be like a centerpiece and to be almost like part of the furniture. The major concern people had was the top panel was solid wood. They've now decided to cut the wood and give you exhaust out the top of the case. The interesting thing about this is a lot of really intricate design details that I've noticed down to the way the top panel goes on. The bit of metal on the corner here is angled. So when you push down, it lifts the lid of the case up. Not only that, to get in the case is a bit better than the original era. The original era had popping side panels, which if you stuffed too much stuff in there, they would pop off quite easily. There's a mechanism on the back, pulling out the rear dust filter, it unlocks the case and then you can pull the, <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> Come on, only, I can only do so much with one hand. <laughs> then you can pull the top of the case away. Now, the first thing I noticed was, hmm, that sandwich looks very spicy. It looks very familiar. I suspect that the center of the Era 2 is the center of the Fractal Terra. There's a lot of us going on right now. And the way I can tell that it's similar is because of the design of all the mounting bits on the center of the sandwich. That's the meat, if you will. I don't know why they call it a sandwich when the meat's usually, it's like a beef sandwich and the beef's in the middle, but not the bread and the GPU and the motherboard would be the bread, right? And there's nothing in the middle. It's weird when you think about it. Anyway, moving on. The Era 2 has two included PWM fans on the bottom. They're both 120 mil fans in intake from the bottom. The bottom of the case is also angled to help drive the air through the center of the case. And on top of that, there is now 280 millimeter radiator mounting on the top of the case. To remove the top of the case, we can unlock these clips to remove the whole fan bracket. So let's say you're building in this. Sandwich cases can be annoying sometimes to build in. You put your radiator on the bracket, drop it into place. Sorry guys, doing this one hand, trying to do this as quickly as possible. I think Paul's hardware is trying to get in here next, guys. And we can pop that into place and then you can pick it up and move it around. Nice and elegant solution. And essentially what I feel like this is, it's the Fractal Terra with 280 millimeter liquid cooler support. But that's not the only case we've got here. Don't worry, this is just a regular North XL. There's another ITX slash small form factor case. Check this thing out. This is called the mood and it puts me in a very good one. The Fractal Ridge was the first in a series of modern home theater PC cases and it's personally a case that we use at our own home. This is the Fractal Mood and it follows on from that tradition. Essentially what this is, is instead of being a consoleized style PC, they went for an Xbox Series exercised <laughs> style PC. It's a very, very tall case, but what makes this more interesting is they followed on with a few design cues to make it more in line with going in your home, like with the Ridge. The Ridge also had this fabric panel on the top and Claire noticed that it's fabric on top of mesh. So there's two layers. I don't know what that's gonna mean for airflow at the moment because you know it's hard to say when you're at Computex, but removing the back panel to get inside will reveal a few things. So we'll just pop that off and it might already start to look familiar inside, right? We can slide the top of it off. There's usually two screws that hold this exterior to the whole chassis itself, but we'll pop that out. And there's a massive 180 millimeter fan on the top for exhaust. So what it's doing is drawing all the air through the sides up and out the top like a chimney. The Keynote out there will notice that it is kind of following the same dimensions as the Era 2 and the Terra. So I suspect that they created some tooling for all their new small form factor cases and kind of created a new platform for all of this. That's the only thing that makes sense to me as to why Fractal is only announcing 
two small form factor slash ITX cases because for production, it's just gonna make it a whole lot easier. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, Fractal's grown up. They're trying to do more grown up stuff and this is definitely a step in the right direction. The mood is looking interesting, but as with all things, you get excited when you see it in person. But when we get this uh, in a couple of weeks, I think it comes out, we'll be testing it and putting it through its paces. You might be asking yourself, when you're gonna see something like the Fractal Mood, the wait is not too long. It's only a couple of weeks away, June 18th. And we'll talk more about this when we've got it in the studio. I think one's probably already waiting for us for when we get home. So stay tuned. All right, that's just about gonna do it here for our coverage with Fractal here at Computex Taipei 2024. Look at this little Raspberry Pi Fractal North. They're calling it the North Micro or the North Mini. They're not really making this, but let's make Fractal make all of us little Raspberry Pi enthusiasts. <laughs> I want this case. Anyways, special thanks to Blackmagic Design, our camera and camera partner for Computex Taipei 2024, the purveyors of the best cinema and broadcast cameras on the planet. All right, I'm out of here. I'm your boy, Nick, with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And luckily, these headsets are wireless, so I can take them, walk away. Someone in the comments is like, oh, you're like taking products and walking away is so cringe. You're just jealous that you don't get to play with everything early. That's what I reckon. Catch you later.